Did you ever look into Profit First to eliminate debt or increase your savings? I'm excited to share with you that Profit for Joy initially feels out of reach for some. Hint, it does have something to do with your life goals, vision board, and your personal why. Hi, my name is Amber Duggar, founder of Profit for Keeps, and during today's Profit for Joy episode, we're going to be talking about Profit for Joy, <laughs> what it is, why it looks different for everyone, and why it is such an important thing to define early on in your journey. So I want you to just take a moment and close your eyes. Imagine what you would do if all your bills were paid, debt paid, savings in the bank, enough money coming in to cover your expenses each month, and have all of your bills on auto pay. I know, I know, it can be like, really? Seriously, I want you to just really sit in that for a moment. Keep your eyes closed if you can. Breathe into it. Now that you truly are in a space of no longer thinking, oh, I should really save that money, or oh, that should really go towards this balance. I want you to just imagine what would feel really amazing to have resources for? What would give you those high vibrations of joy? And it could be all sorts of different things. And that's what's so exciting about this is that it is truly going to be defined by the one person that matters, and that is you. When you're ready, open your eyes and just jot down one or two things that came up for you. A lot of times when I ask someone this question in, in a one-to-one -one setting, I am told that this is the first time they've really truly thought about this. And that's really common. So if you are going, man, I've never really thought about this, or you may already have a Pinterest board and a hundred items already listed. Regardless, we all have this. We all have this desire. We all have these things that really bring us joy. For me personally, I absolutely love to knit. I don't know if I've mentioned that like a hundred other times, but I love to knit. So my profit for joy is spending time with other knitting friends and going to retreats and really enjoying the process, enjoying the process of the meditative qualities of knitting and being like go to Norway, for example, and go to a, a knitting retreat in Norway. That is a huge, huge bucket list thing of mine. But someone else could be listening to this and going, oh my gosh, that is the last thing I'd want to spend my money on. <laughs> so, and that's what's so beautiful about this Profit for Joy concept is that we all have different things. But I do believe this. It is not something that you can be intentionally um, profitable when you don't have this clear why. It's, it's, I've seen it all the time. So when you're making more money, and cutting expenses, and that's how you're trying to build a profitable business. It doesn't always actually result in that. What really happens is joy must come first. You must think, okay, if I have enough money to pay myself, enough money to cover my business expenses, then you always have enough money, right? You always have enough for the things that really matter to you. And so it's just building a business model that will allow you to achieve that revenue and a framework in place to be really clear and intentional with the money that comes in. So joy comes first because ultimately that is why we are all here. We are here to experience joy. My grandfather, the last words he told me other than I love you right before he passed away that same day, he looked at me in, his, in the eye and he said, Amber, make sure to pursue things that you enjoy. This was 13 years ago now. And every time I think of that moment, I get chills. Because up until that moment, I don't think I was truly focusing on that. I wasn't thinking about that. And his entire 87 years on this earth, that was what he wanted to make sure that I heard right before we said goodbye to one another. And it is such a poignant thing, right? Like, whoa, that is so true. If we're not pursuing the things that we enjoy during our life here on earth, why are we here? 
And there are so many different things that we can do with this. So I want you to just remember to root the root of everything else you do and why you started your business to begin with all is this profit for joy concept. It helps you figure out what kind of revenue streams you want. It helps you feel very justified and intentional with the revenue goals that you create for yourself. And ultimately it helps you have a compass to figure out what to do with extra money that just randomly comes your way. The more clear we are with where we want it to go, the more we end up receiving. It just happens. So here's your action step for this episode. I want you to list your top three profit for joy items and put it out, putting it out there is the first step. So if you are open to putting it out to the universe, go ahead and list your top three or any three. It doesn't even have to be your top three. Blah, top three. You can just put it in the comments and let us know. This is probably my, it is, it's not probably, it is my absolute favorite thing to talk about when I talk to new people that are coming in and learning about this framework because it is really why they're doing this, right? Like what's the point of having a framework if you don't have a really clear picture of where you want to go with it? So this is your roadmap, your personal, individualized, unique roadmap for your own profit for joy. Did you like this video? Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified when future videos are published. Become cash flow savvy by joining our growing sweet life purposeful money community by visiting amberduggercom slash community. This is where we help you become truly profitable and sustainable online business. Until the next video, remember, money is simply a resource and making peace with money allows you to pursue the things you enjoy with freedom. Much love to you.